Good morning, everyone. My name is Jonathan Capic. I'm the project manager for the Seakeeper Department over at Starboard Yacht Group. And this morning, we're on the 42 Yellowfin. We just did a refit for the Seakeeper 5. We also upgraded the generator, added a GO system, and added a flare camera along with DirecTV so the customer can watch the games while out, out at sea. So, if you look here, here's our Sea Keeper display for our SK5. It's spooling up right now. We're still on the dock, we're connected to shore power. So, on this particular install, it was a little tricky and required a lot of creativity on Starboard Yacht Group's end. So what we had to do is cut out the floor underneath the bed in the cabin and we had to elevate the bed about two inches so the sea keeper would have enough clearance to precess back and forth without any interference. So if you want to take a look downstairs, I'll show you what we have going on. So we completely redid this panel board for the customer, we had everything upgraded so the direct TV is on there and now the sea keeper powder coat it into place so you have your DC side breaker right here and then if you come on the AC side panel you have your sea keeper AC breaker right here which is 25 amps because the SK5 SK is 115 amps so then where the sea keeper is located is right under this bed right here so to access the sea keeper I'm gonna go ahead and lift up these cushions and you have four screws located on the corners we're going to pull that panel up and then access the sea keeper now which what's really cool about this configuration that we did is there's an AC unit up forward so we designed it so it's sucking air through these vent holes right here as you'll see in a minute so we completely redid this panel board. So right here we have our SK-5. Um, as you see, we cut a hole right in the middle. Uh, we built stringers that attach to the bottom of the vessel. Built everything up about um, 10 inches. And then popped in the seat keeper. So getting it in was a little tricky on our end as well. So we had to break it down into three pieces. Uh, we put in our foundation after we built our stringers. We brought the sphere in, moved it to right about here. Then we set up an A-frame, moved it into place. Then we went, ahead, get, went ahead and put on the top piece, which includes all the wiring harness and the hydraulics. And then I bolted everything back together. We spooled it up and everything works like it's supposed to. We've had no issues. Overall, this was a great install for Starboard Yacht Crew. And I can't wait until we get out on the water and see trial of this boat and uh, get the results from the SK-5 on this 42 Yellowfin.